For the second time in 24 hours, the city of High Point has dealt with a widespread power outage. It has since been restored, but it's caused plenty of frustrations for people who live there. WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk talked to city leaders about what caused these outages. Now, when I first got here, the stoplight just down the road was out. Now, power crews say they have restored the power after redirecting some of that energy. Now, I spoke to some businesses as well as some people here in the area, including Sweet Dough right here behind me, who say it impacted workflow. Nothing slowed down. I still was cleaning dishes back there. We accepted cash. We moved the salon chairs up here and applied color or did dry haircuts because rescheduling people is a real big pain. So it's a nightmare um, right now. <laughs> but we had three awesome clients that we were laughing and carrying on and it actually ended up like a big party. So <laughs> I was out of power maybe an hour and 45 minutes and I lost an hour and 45 minutes worth of work time. So that's some time I can't get back, especially those that, 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 that we don't have vacation time or sick time. Last night, afternoon storms rolled through. You can see from these images, the lightning hit a substation causing the outage. Now, High Point Electric Utilities Director Tyler Barrier says it's a different situation today. Barrier says crews are working to pinpoint the cause of the second large outage. Five substations went out across the area. He says there is a breaker issue somewhere between the delivery line from out of county power to the system in High Point. He says they're working with Duke Energy to diagnose the issue. He says it can be challenging because they cannot directly see what's wrong. A large outage on transmission is not what you want, but um, we did have techs on the ground to address the issue and get everybody res restored in about an hour. And, um, you know, we'll be looking into to that cause and, and we'll make sure that we're doing everything in we can to keep the lights on. And Barrier says that as soon as they know what happened, they will alert the public, but they say don't be alarmed. It's just two unfortunate situations that happened within 24 hours.